One month ago, my good friend Jack challenged me to compete in the High Rocks. There was only one problem. I had no clue what High Rocks was and how it worked. But I'm not one to back away from any challenge. Having fought multiple times in the ring and ran multiple ultra marathons, I'm always looking to test my limits. So we started our training, running intervals, doing sled pushes, farmer walks, wall balls, you name it. And with good help from friends, we had some great and grueling training sessions leading up to the event. And as we got closer to race day, we could only ask the question, was I ready for what was waiting for me? Got the got the bag you just purchased. This is real. <laughs> I want to jump in that. Hello. Yeah, what holiday? No, but uh, you know high rocks like fitness, like event. Fitness. Yeah, like training. Oh, training. Training athlete, you know. Where? F1? Uh, no, no. Um, He's an F1 driver, famous F1 F driver. Formula 1 driver. Never seen it before. Ice cream vending machine. How cool is that? Mall with a casino. Amazing. Which one first? That's the question. These are the best watches. And, like, if you get it, like, before you get a Rolex, get a Casio, get a G Shock. I feel like basically once the event's over, yeah, just like we, we, we just yeah, like, we make the casino. most of it, yeah. Yeah, then we go casino, we go and uh, smash the high rocks and we're going to smash the slot machines too. Or the roulette table. Hell yeah. Alright guys, we're at Louis V. They don't like filming that much in here, so but what we're doing essentially we in Sydney. <laughs> we're playing chess at Louis V. So here we go, we have a great position. Great starting good. position, already taking a palm off Sydney. What do you think Sydney? We went into this so blindsided, like we had no idea what yeah. to do, what we were gonna do, where we should stay. I'm impressed with this place. We're gonna have to come back, more prepared. Yeah. Oh, just yeah, four. Okay. Yes. Am I here okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, we've been out and about for a bit, got some food, checked out a bit of Singapore, not too much. We're saving the rest for after the hard walks. Right now we're just focused, getting some work in, and now we're also getting a workout in, okay? Just, I'm not going to do too much, we'll see what Sydney does though. It's like entering a playground, you know? <laughs> you know? This is actually quite cool that they have stuff outside. Because a lot of times it's like difficult to get warm. Yeah. So actually having stuff outside needs to get that body heat going. Obi-Wan. Oh, it's not the biggest place. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, they have water. Uh, These are the only weights we got. Oh, we can't do so much with that. Well, these are sort of weights, yeah. 10 kilos. I actually quite like this. You know what they should have had? Like a rugged squat rack here, a bit of stuff like this space could be so better, so much better. Like, you get it? Gotta get the grunts, gotta get the grunts right to me. Boom guys, it's time to finish off the day. Today was a good one. I arrived here in Singapore. We're getting pretty prepped for the Thai Rocks tomorrow, okay? It's exciting stuff. We're just having a, a blast today. Just checking a bit of Singapore out. Um, saving a bit for after the High Rocks, of course. 
I'll see you tomorrow for the event. All right? Boom. Quickly go through that check-in process. I think that once we're there, it's gonna be easy to see. Alright. Singapore Expo. I want to Boom guys, listen, we're here. High Rock Singapore 2024 Expo Event Hall, right. We're here, let's head over and give you guys a tour of what's actually going on in, all right? Follow along. I'm all mic'd up and beautiful. So as we come in, right, we have some booths, we have some stands. The High Rocks itself is more over here. And then we have, we have a stage here. We have a warm up area here. Some backdrop and stuff over there. So this is more like the administrative area. Then we have the event itself over here. So right here we have a crossing, so we have to cross over because the main event, like all the exercises, uh, all the exercises are essentially in this area, in this expo hall over here. So uh, we'll have to cross over and then we'll spend most of our time in here. But after we're done there, we're gonna go over here. And the event ends up over there. I'll show you guys on the map. So we have the map, right? We're here right now. We've gone through the uh, event. Here are the boots as we passed. The registration area backdrop. We have the crossing. As you see, so most of the event is done here. The running track around here. Start is here. Run, 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 run. One time. Two time. And then in on the third. Starting with the ski erg. Then we do that again. The runs. Sled push. Sled pull. Burpee jumps. Rowing. Farmers carry. Lunges. Right? All a run in between that. Those things. Then we run. And instead of entering in here, we're going to enter in here all right so when we get to this place we have wall balls after the wall balls we have a main stage where you hit the gong the big gong douche let's go check out how that looks follow along guys okay, so here you see the uh the wall balls and you see the finisher uh, the gong itself hopefully we'll be able to hit the gong that's you know that's why i'm here to hit the gong the only reason i came here now but for real we got a hundred of these wall balls to finish and then it's you know spoot sailing from there up the stage a lot of stuff going on here we have some smaller like competitions we got some basketball stuff going They should have made a bridge instead of that. All right guys, so this is where the high rock starts. Inside that tunnel, we'll be there in the, uh, about an hour from now. Top five high rocks outfits. Hell yeah. So basically, just think the first, every run, every run we're gonna do is the same part from the last one we actually go past it three times. Yeah. Just keep it similar in your head. Yeah. Because if you start talking distances and stuff, One, two, it. three, in. One, two, three. In on the third. Yeah. One time, two times, in on the third. All good things are free, right? I'll see you later, mate. Exactly. Right. I appreciate it. Yeah, no worries, mate. Yeah, yeah. Cheers, thank you. So, yeah, just confirm there, because I saw a thing on Instagram live yesterday. I'm gonna warm up properly and uh, yeah, just gonna give it the best we can. The only thing is that they have a crossing, so over there's like a you have to cross over to get into all of these uh, exercises, which is like if there's like children or women in the way, I might do something about it. I might try to dodge them if they're crossing at a bad time, but if there's a guy, I might you know kill someone today. Who knows? You know, involuntary manslaughter, you know, because I got I hit someone with a truck, that truck being me. Who knows, right? Big thank you, big shout out to today's sponsor. The reason we're here in the first place, the number one, the number one entrepreneurs network in the world, all right? No one better than the new elite, all right? Guys, if you are entrepreneurs, 
then you need to go check out the new elites, okay? We have people in there leveling up, getting to the next level, getting from that 10k a month level to a 100k a month level very easily. One connection can change your life. And it's done through being around like-minded individuals. So if that's something you want to do, the link is in the description. Go check out the new elites. God bless. Boom. We got just under an hour, I think, until our uh, heat starts. So what we'll do now is uh, we're gonna lock, lock the f in. We're gonna change our shoes. I have different underwear I'm gonna wear too. Uh, it's all like, all these small details, why it really matter. We're gonna hydrate up, get some extra creatine in there. Why not, right? Well, let's get this, all right? Boom. Coming up to exercise number two, the sled push, I was excited to see how easy it would feel relative to the training we'd done beforehand. I was pleasantly surprised though, as the 200kg sled felt easier than ever. I decided to use the stop and go tactic that I got recommended to me during my training. This allows you to preserve more energy and not burn out too quickly. Take that break, everybody else is taking that break. And it's just a matter of seconds there and just making sure you got the break at the right time to save your legs. I started off strong with the burpees, using the technique I drilled in during my training. I felt like I was moving fast. But then it hit me. It felt like I hit the wall. My heart rate was through the roof, and I was moving slower and slower. You're not too far behind, bro. I was absolutely cooked, and the question was, had the burpees destroyed my race?
The burpees, the, the, those are the ones that kill you. We just, it's easy, we, we got, we got a good point of reference. We've got a better story on I'm not happy at all, so. That's all right, that's all right. I just use that to power the train and moving forward. Yes, sir. It's no problem, take it easy, take it easy on yourself now. Have a relax, you've, you've done good training today. Take it easy and uh, just enjoy the, enjoy being at the event. I'll try. Good lab. Do you know what position it, it came in at that time? In my heat? Yeah. Uh, I think, what is it, like third lap, third, third, third finisher in my heat? I think so, yeah. I, I was second or third in my heat. Nice. Good man. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy the afterglow of training that hard, man. You did awesome. It just gives us a place of reference for the next event. It's all good, man. Good to see you, brother. Thank you. Thank good you. Work. Too. Solid work. See you. Thank you. Absolutely solid for a first high rocks. Incredible work. Nico's been training for that for, what, three weeks? Four weeks before the event. event. High Rocks Pro, never done it before in his life, is in the top finishers of the pro event in Singapore. That's what we do in the New Elite. We sponsor excellence. We sponsor athleticism and incredible men. And so proud of you, brother. Awesome, awesome work. Look, bro, you just fucking sick. You came second up, but I know you consider it a last time. Yes. Yeah, I mean, it is what it is. Uh, we're talking of guard was the burpees. Haven't trained them enough. They're the most difficult exercise, I swear. Bro, this sled, everyone's like, prepare for the sled. So easy, bro. Yeah. I, was that 200? Like, that was so easy. You crushed the bomb as well. You smashed that. On the sleds? The guy, the guy that came first. He took ages to do that. So like you still had time to catch up to him when he was... Sleds are my strength, bro. Yeah. Well, it's my strength is the burpees. And I, that might be a bodyweight thing. Yeah. But I don't know. Uh, a technique thing too. Cardio thing. No excuses. Gotta train harder. Need better endurance. So, so is it gonna be a round two? Oh yeah. Have to. Wow. You spend... Half spend the majority of the time in the highest stress zone. Highest yeah, stress zone. Zone four and five. More in zone five? Oh yeah, my god, five, yeah. that's not good. I don't know. But that's good, that's good. In your 90, 90 to 100% effort is what I, the way I understand it. So overall, 14th out of all the men's pro finishers, which is, I don't know, okay. First high rocks, I love the event. Great event. The, the thing is that the, the, the running with all, it's like I have to shove myself through them and have to create space, so. Do you feel like that slowed you down? The having to shove through people? Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. Definitely, uh, definitely slowed him down, but you know, no excuses. I think we did a, did a good race, especially the sled pushes. My God, I'm happy with those sled pushes. When you first kicked off, what was your plan? Like when you first took off from the start line, were you just going to pace it out and like just jog it out to begin with? Or were you going full pace at that start? No, uh, I, was, I was trying to be more pacey. Okay. And that's way better. I think it's way better to go from this end and then do like high rocks number three and then work like okay last time we started at this pace maybe let's you know bump it up a bit maybe we pace too much who knows right so but it's better to go that way than the other way and go out way too hard because now we have no reference so i went if i went too out too hard right i'm getting cramps in my jaw if you go out too hard you have no reference point for how much you can push for the next time because everything shuts down right 
But the fact that we paced it means that now we have a reference point for, hey, how much should we pace it? How much, what can we do better next time? So it's much better to go from that end. That's always a better way to go. So the thing that I did really well was pace myself and not go out like a fucking animal. What's the big takeaway? Work harder. <laughs> always. Always more to do, always harder to work. Um, never satisfied. But, yeah. It's a, it's a good, good event. So anyways, it is. Let's get our uh, bag, yeah? Myself. Okay, if she can do, do two pull ups in 30 seconds. Are you gonna so compete gonna against a kid, bro? <laughs> wow! How old are you? You're nine years old. Okay, in 30 seconds, because she's only nine years old, she's gonna do two pull ups. Okay? Give me a second, hang old. on. Pull ups. Guys, okay. what are you ready? Doing? Anytime you're Here's ready. A two -year -old. Go. Wow! Wow! Let's see how many you can go. Three, wow! She's so good! Whoa, you're wonderful! That's amazing! Okay, you guys wanna try? Okay, so 18 in 30 seconds. Ready! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 16, 2 more, 17, one last one. Congratulations! Let's go. Whoa! Excellent, fantastic. After a well hard Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you so much for being part of the challenge. Ladies. I didn't even know you were going to win anything. Huh? I didn't even know you were going to win anything. I mean, either. Running more? Yeah, running, that's yeah. it. Yeah. Threshold run. So we've got to work on running and we've got to work on stuff like that. Yeah, if we did double high rocks, like back to back, it would be. Maybe I should set up my own then. It's a hundred, yeah. hundred kilometer high rocks. Yes, yeah. Oh, that'd be fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Anthony. Anthony. Nicolo. Nicolo. Nice. Yeah, I appreciate it. Might see you another one. Probably. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Cheers. See ya. Yeah. Boom, guys. Listen, you saw it. High rocks, Singapore, sorted, all right? We came here with a mission and we performed our duties, all right? Big thank you again to the sponsors, The New Elite, okay? Go check them out. The link is down there in the description. Number one entrepreneurs network worldwide. Big thank you to everyone who watched the video. I appreciate you guys, I appreciate the support. More of this to come very, very soon, okay? Round two, uh, very, very soon. I'm gonna keep training for this. And uh, really, really grateful to be able to uh, go out here, we inspire you guys, getting a lot of uh, good feedback on my Instagram. Go check out the Instagram, by the way, that's where it all happens. Uh, we did all of this live on Instagram, so next time, for the next event, be there, all right? I want to see you there. But yeah, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was a blast. We hit the casino after the high rocks. Uh, don't want to say that one too well, but hey, we had some fun, that's for sure. Take care, and God bless. Ooh.